What are you all thoughts on Chivalry? Chivalry dead? No. Good guy no. still exists? No, it is not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. As a dude, I, I actually started to question whether or not Chivalry was dead myself. So I have a little sister. And uh, we would go out here in Atlanta to lounges and clubs and that kind of thing. And I would kind of step back and let her do her own thing. I'd be close enough to figure out what was going on, but still far enough to let her do her own thing. And I was, I was amazed at what some of these dudes were saying to my little sister to get her attention. Shawty, what's your name? <laughs> Where your man at? Damn, you got a fat ass. Does that shit work? Like, for some it does work? Yeah. Is that why they continue to do it? Right. And I think that that's the case. I think there's two sides of it. As men, I think we need to understand the art of courting a woman and the fact that chivalry is dead. And as women, I think you all definitely, not anybody in here, but as a general whole, need to, you know, kind of not accept those kind of things anymore. So on behalf of the, the chivalrous men, I would just like to first apologize for what it is that I'm about to say to you. <laughs> because normally as a gentleman, there would be no reason I would come and speak this way to you, but I've sat quietly by and watched these other dudes lie when all you want them to do is say the truth. Spit lines that they think will allow them to have their way with you. Confuse the fact that you have game as an invitation to play with you. Do what they think needs to be done just so that they can lay with you and at the same time they're already trying to come up with their excuse as to why they gotta get up early in the morning and can't stay with you. So they claim me to Worship the ground that you walk on, yet they look perplexed when you ask them to pray with you because their approach is predictable. See, they're at the bar trying to purchase your emotions with mixed liquor. Bragging that they make six figures, claiming that their dick's bigger and that they can look your click quicker, but it figures. Because a man that lacks substance must make claims that he can't substantiate. While a real man just is, by definition, we can't be fake. You see, I'm not trying to get you in bed, but instead I'm asking, why can't we wait? Because I know that that date's been predetermined and we can't beat faith. Besides, I know that if I'm patient that they will come when I will be able to hit it from the back so hard that you can't see straight. But if we allow it to happen now, we can be lovers, but we can't be mates. So instead, I would much rather we wait so that we can have the kind of love that only he creates. I want us to have a bond so tight that we gave each other's eyes after it's over and say, damn, ain't we great? because I realize that it's much more than a cute waist and slim waist that makes you fly. You see, I'm more concerned about what are your passions, what is that motivates you, what makes you cry. I want to be the motivating force that when you think you can't, I make you try. I'm trying to travel to the depths of your soul and then take you high. Because I realize that it's much more than thick thighs and light eyes that make you fine. You see, I'm trying to take your breath away. So when you want to speak to me, I make you sign. I want to do everything that needs to be done to make you mine because I need your 1,000 gigawatts to pile my plus the past so we can travel through space and time. And I realize that you're apprehensive. And I may even be able to weaken your defenses with some of these breakthrough lines, but in order for you to truly fall in love with me, that's going to take you time. And that's okay. I just want to make sure that while you're waiting for your Exhale, that you're not waiting for your ex. Hey, trying to keep a dude around you that you know is no good only makes it more difficult for the next meal. And I know that you're looking at me thinking that I'm a nice guy, but secretly when you get home, you hope that dude hits you on the next tail, but we all know that he won't because he's too busy hitting the next tail. And now you wonder why it is that you only get approached by dudes whose idea for compliments is saying that they like the way your chest feels or like sleep press on nails. And some dudes are even bold enough to walk right up to you and say, hey, ma, I'm just trying to see how them breasts feel. But that's them being disrespectful. Wanting nothing more than to lick it and quit it. Suck it and fuck it. And I apologize for speaking so explicitly, but I want you to buy into what I'm saying. And they say that sex sells. You see, I don't want you to lower your standards. I just want to make sure that you have some. Because I want to take a chance on this love, but I don't want to suffer for the things that other dudes have done. Because I know you've been praying to God for a good man because he spoke to me and told me that it's time that you have one. But I would be lying if I said when it came to issues, I have none. I mean, look at me. I'm not tall, dark, and handsome like Mr. Cunnilingus spoke to me. <laughs> I don't have that tall swag. I mean, I look in the mirror every day and wish I had a little less gut. 
with trade in jeans and tennis shoes and sometimes dress up and when I mess up, I wish that I wouldn't lie about it, that I would just fess up, but guess what? When I write a list of the priorities in my life after God, there is just us. And the only thing that I'm ever gonna ask from you is just love. And the only thing that you're ever gonna need to give to me is just love, so I'm asking you to trust love, trust me. Trust that even though love is blind, everything you try to show, I'ma see. And trust that even though I don't have much everything you need, I'ma be, because if it's the sun that is in your eyes, then you can stand under me because, gee, I'm a tree. See, I know that you're looking toward the skies for your sign. And I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but my treasure's stored in heaven, so I don't need you to co-sign. I just want you to remember this theorem, that even though on the outside we may be opposite and different, alternate interior angles are congruent. So on the inside, you're my equal, because true love we're both pursuing. And I don't even care if my homeboys think that you're A-squared, because if it means being with you, then I will gladly be squared. Add it both together, and the world will see squared, and know that love is our hypotenuse. But I'm not trying to be Pythagoras. I mean, hell, when I was in school, I barely passed calculus, but I know that just like mathematics, there's a formula to having bliss. And I'm willing to dedicate all of my nice late night study sessions with you if it means having this because we both know that it's not that easy. I mean, our lives consist of consistent inconsistencies. And even in the last five minutes of me trying to explain this, I know you've gotten confused trying to get the sense of me. And I can tell you that it gets easier, but unfortunately, this is me. A man who's filled with simple complexities. But I promise, I promise that if you take a chance on me, that I will give you the best of me. And even when I'm away, I will have you come for me. And that's without having sex with me. So it's up to you as to whether or not you want to take a chance on this or just simply let this be. Because I can't make the decision alone. Collectively, we are a democracy, not one republic. And I know that it's too late to apologize, but I'm going to do it anyway because my mind is wondering what you think of it. Just let me simply say that I'm sorry for the things that I felt the need to say to you. Because normally as a gentleman, there would be no reason that I would come and speak this way to you. But if I just say that chivalry is alive, you would think that I'm alive, so I'm deciding to just say the truth. That I do want to lay with you. That I do want to have my way with you, but I also want to pray with you and spend the rest of my days with you. So just take my hand, accept my apology, and make what I say the truth. Thank you.